We've just reviewed Lenovo's Q1 FY 2020 results, and unfortunately, they seem to confirm all of our worst fears. Now, before we go on, I must remind you that under Hong Kong SFC regulations, we're not allowed to make recommendations, and none of the following should be taken to be investment advice. However, if you are looking at Lenovo and considering an investment, have a think about the following. Management's talking about record revenue and improving operating margins, but we think this is them simply cherry-picking the results to come up with a presentation that glosses over their business reality. The story to us is somewhat different and is as follows. Lenovo has been unable to grow its revenue without growing its assets, and so they continually buy more assets. The problem is that the revenue and margin they earn on those assets is insufficient to cover their funding costs. And so each deal becomes value destructive, and this is why their cash flow fails to cover maintenance capex, funding costs, and their dividends. With the net result, even though their revenues rise, and possibly their profitability, their liabilities are rising faster. Net result, even though the revenue is rising, and possibly the profits may eventually rise too, their liabilities are rising much faster. Put another way, they're simply hollowing out the balance sheet to pay dividends. We think this is because the parent desperately needs them to cover its own debt burden. It obscures this by churning its working capital and doing lots of deals. Ultimately, we think the only reason to hold the stock at today's level is the yield. The problem is, this is not funded out of sustainable cash flow, but is instead funded by debt. Without a dramatic margin improvement in the core business, which seems somewhat unlikely given that its peers are better funded and more profitable, we think leverage will continue to rise. This is a problem because ultimately either the dividend will have to be cut or a lot more equity capital will have to be raised, further diluting shareholders. Having been through the results, we've highlighted some of the key numbers and posted a link below the video. Now, it's not everything we've found out, and if you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. Alternatively, if you want to keep up with our results reviews, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for your time.